But I said you were ma- the uh, MVP of the pandemic era. They they relied on you for Raw, SmackDown, NXT, the singles division, the tag division. How did it feel to like have that trust instilled in you? And was there like a pivotal point where they were just like, yeah, you're going to be doing all of this? Um, I think it just kind of happened. Like, I don't know if they... Ma- Honestly, I could tell you they didn't make a decision where it was like, yeah, we're going to rely on Bailey and Sasha for this stuff. It just kind of happened. I think they saw how much uh, we were killing it, you know, and how much that we were able to not only do what they asked, but excel and like give them more and more and more and more. And uh, that honestly, as weird as it sounds, it's probably some of the best times of my career and probably the most rewarding. Do you have a favorite moment of that era? Because, I mean, you were you were dominant. You were all over every show. Um, I don't think I have, like, a favorite moment. I have so many memories, especially in the back. TJ Wilson and I laugh about it all the time because there's so many crazy memories. Having a WrestleMania at the Performance Center was insane. But I think some of the proudest moments I had, uh, the stuff with the Kabuki Warriors, our tag matches with them, I loved. Stuff with Kyrie and Asuka. Um, but also, like, I had two Hell in a Cell matches in front of nobody. Yeah. in front of no fans within the span of a year. So I think those are two of my highlights.